Hey guys, Kim here, and you are tuned back into Kim E, the Diabetes NP, a place where nurse practitioners can improve and enhance their diabetes education and management skills. Today, we are going to be talking about bile acid sequestrants. This drug class holds the drug well called. This is an adjunct therapy, so if you want to learn a little bit more about well call, tune in. We're going to get into it. So let's get into some overview. Like I said in the intro, this is an adjunct therapy, meaning that this is not a drug that you're going to use as a monotherapy. It's something that you're going to tag on with something else. Now this drug is typically used for cholesterol therapy. It lowers the LDL, but they have noticed that it does have positive effects on your blood glucose, especially in the early stages of diabetes type 2. Now, how this drug works on diabetes is it decreases the hepatic glucose production. It also decreases the insulin resistance that a patient may have. And it also slows down GI motility, meaning that the glucose is not going to be really absorbed in the intestines and thereby it basically affects the postprandial glucose. And really in a nutshell, that's what this drug class does. So with your side effects, clearly if this drug class slows GI motility, you're going to have some GI effects. You're going to have constipation, indigestion, nausea, bloating, flatulence. So those are some side effects that we need to educate our patients. This would be your pal, your pearl of wisdom, because again, like we have talked about earlier, if you do not tell your patients what may be coming down the pipe, you're setting them up for failure because they're probably going to most likely discontinue if they are not looking and anticipating that precautions and contraindications. Now with contraindications, I really didn't find any, but I did come across a couple of precautions that we need to keep in mind as nurse practitioners. One of the things, which is kind of interesting because this drug is used for cholesterol therapy. It lowers the LDL, but it actually increases your triglycerides. So that is something that we need to monitor. And if you have a patient that has rather high triglycerides prior to starting this medicine, this is probably not a medicine that you would want to put them on. Now, here's something to keep in mind and really would probably deter a lot of us from prescribing this medicine for our patients the peel burden and what i mean by that is when a patient is taking this medicine they're going to be taking a lot of pills at once i want to say anywhere between three to six pills if i can remember correctly when i tried to prescribe this as a brand new nurse practitioner my patients hated this medicine because the pills are rather large they taste horribly and there is a formulation that comes like in a powder that they can mix in a drink but if they do not mix it well enough because it's rather hard to mix in liquids though it's a powder it doesn't dissolve easily if they dissolve it in water it's going to be gritty and it's going to be disgusting as I have been told <laughs> And then if they don't mix it well in orange juice, it also makes the orange juice something that's very citrusy. I don't even know if I said that right, but it's going to make that taste bad as well. So that in and of itself is just an inconvenience, okay? To also have to keep in mind that this is just an adjunct therapy. I did want to mention this drug class because it's something that's out there as another option, but I do want to let you all know all of it, not just some of it. Okay guys, that's all I have for you with this drug class, short and sweet today. And of course, I want to thank you all for always coming back, for those who have subscribed and have been following along with these medication classes. If you have not subscribed, do me a favor, if you're watching on a desktop, there's a little button over here, go ahead, click that button, subscribe, ding that notification bell. If you're looking on your mobile phone, down under in the description box there should be a subscribe button that you can click as well 
And for those who don't know, and those who do know, in the description box, there's your diabetic med cheat sheet that goes along with this drug class. And like I've been saying in the past couple of videos, I am gearing up for insulin. And I have created an insulin survey because I wanna get some feedback from you all as to what you want to know and what you want me to put in this series that's coming up. I'm gearing up for it, I have an outline, I'm so excited about it, but I want to make sure that I'm putting the exact information in there that you all want to know. And so if you can do me a favor, click that insulin survey and fill it out. It's only gonna take you a couple of minutes and I'll greatly appreciate it. Again, you have been sitting here with me, Kim, and you've been listening to Kim E, the Diabetes MP, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.